Everybody wants to be successful, but not everybody's willing to put in the work. On the field, I'm a warrior because I play for something. I'm unstoppable because God said it. Covered in the blood eternally because God shed it. I'm healed before I'm hurt. I got God's medic. <laughs> I tried out for the Cardinals, the cheerleaders, and uh, failed miserably. Uh, however, I got a ring 30 years ago, Mary Duffy. You take a look at this one. Excuse me, thank you. Just, uh, you show off <laughs> for crying out loud. I'd get a hernia just lifting that. <laughs> O'Brien, I hope you don't mind. O'Brien Schofield. Yes. Welcome home. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> for those of us who are Cardinals fans and for those of us who are NF NFL fans, we still like to think of this as your NFL home, even though you had to go to Seattle to get the jewelry. <laughs> what an exciting experience, though. People get traded all the time and never wind up with those. Yes. Uh, for me, it was just uh, an eye-opening experience, uh, just with my faith in God, to, to play for a team for three years. Uh, I really wanted to, to you know, be the guy that stayed wherever I got drafted for the longest. But unfortunately, with the, the coaching changes, I was cut at the beginning of camp, and uh, I was given an opportunity by Seattle, which by no means was easy. I had to fight to make the team with all the talent that they had there, and you know, just play a role. I, I wasn't a starter there, but wherever I could get in and, and make my dominance and presence felt, I, I did just that, and I'm blessed to have a ring sitting here today. All right, but even though you got the ring. And even though you're here in the middle of summer, yes. you miss us a little bit, don't you? <laughs> you know, my, my family, my, my wife's family is out here, and it's, this is where I train at. You know, it was home Good. for me at, at some point, so I still come here in the off season and train. And some of the guys that I talk to from the Cardinals, you know, I'm able to get up with them and train with them a little bit. And the well. Mexican food in Seattle really is lots. <laughs> so, uh, listen, you got the ring. That's a symbol of as successful as you can be in the NFL. Is that what the seminar is about and you're part of it? Well, for me, the seminar is just about your life struggles. It's things that you go through, but keep your eye on the prize. You know, uh, don't lose faith in things that you want to accomplish, the desires of your heart, and if you trust in God, those things are, are able and they're capable of happening. You know that right now there are people who are saying, what is he talking about? <laughs> don't, let, don't let things get you on the way up. He's got a ring. He was in the NFL for crying out loud. He's been a star ever since he started playing football. Did you ever have any downtime? Oh man, you know what? Downtime was injuries for me. Uh, you know, the I've had four surgeries in in five years, mm. and to have those surgeries, you know, I had to come back each year, you know, stronger and with a, a mental mindset that, you know, I wasn't going to give up and I wasn't going to let me let me uh, stop from being the greatest that I can be. Okay, is coming back from, particularly from multiple surgeries, yes. is it a greater emotional challenge than it is a physical challenge? Uh, it is, you know, because it's something you have to stay focused. You know, you, you feel like you're not part of the team because you're separated at some point. You know, you have to get back to the point where you know how strong you are and, you know, just competing to be the same player you were, but even better. You know, I just had Dominique Wilkins on. This is kind of jock day on the morning scramble. She had Dominique Wilkins on. And besides all of the years that he played in the NBA, most of them for Atlanta, he also spent a couple of tours of duty in Europe playing for a Greek team. Now, you're on a Greek team yourself yes. coming up this weekend. Yes. Would you explain to everybody what Greek team that you're on? <laughs> and Pastor Gus, the quarterback, is sitting over in the corner smiling <laughs> like mad. Uh, fire and water, you know, I'll be at fire and water on uh, on Saturday, uh, June 28th and June 29th uh, on Sunday for the church service. I'll be sharing my testimony and just giving a little insight about me in the NFL and, you know, how I came to be Super Bowl champion of Brian Schofield. Why? How did you get contacted by or connected with Pastor Gus, who's been a regular guest You know, here. actually, uh, my massage therapist that I had when I was working with the Cardinals went to his church, and she kept inviting me to his church, and I decided to go uh, last year Easter, and man, fell in love with it. My wife and I 
uh, you know, we, we just really enjoyed the service, and I became a member there, and that's how I became connected with Pastor Gus. And and once he's invited you, it's always a good idea to go, because otherwise he comes to your house, <laughs> uh, you know, and he'll just keep hanging around until you finally give in. Uh, and so this the seminar, the uh, the two days, yes. is about what you were talking about, and that is how to overcome the obstacles. Yes, uh, just perseverance. You know, there's a lot of things that. Uh, people go through in life challenges and for me greatness does not come without a challenge and when you really look at you know just to where you got to where you are there's something that uh, some obstacle that you had to fight and go through and people look at your success today but when they hear your story of the things you had to to fight and to, to sacrifice to get to where you are I mean a lot of people will be amazed so that's all I'm sharing is my story of how I became to be a Super Bowl champion and you know my struggles in life and my faith in God do you ever remember a time when somebody came up to you as an NFL player and told you a story about their troubles and their challenges and the barriers that they were having a hard time getting to? I mean, what a, what a responsibility for a guy who essentially uh, knocks people down, throws balls, catches balls, uh, and hears somebody coming up to you saying, hey, you know what, I'm having a tough time in my life. You ever have that? Oh, yes. You know, uh, and that's one thing about the NFL is a brotherhood. And to hear the challenges, some people come from single parent homes and, you know, they have family that they're supporting off their off their income. I mean, you'll be surprised at the challenges that these guys go through and to, to be at a point in my life now where I'm able to to be a witness to them and be a comforter. I mean, that's something important for me. Well, I'll tell you, you uh, you were really uh, a major citizen here while you were playing. Uh, for the Cardinals, and I know the fact that they feel the same way about you, perhaps even more so because they've got pennants and flags, <laughs> and all the ball players of the Seattle Seahawks have rings. Uh, great town, uh, a great football team. What's the difference in the two organizations, Cardinals and the Seahawks? You know, uh, I just think the Cardinals, they brought me in. You know, they, they took a chance on me. And uh, it, it was a lot of older talent with the Cardinals. You know, it was you had the, your Darnell Dockets and your Adrian Wilsons, and you know the a good veteranship just show us how to make it. You know, and I think going to Seattle was just a younger team, and uh, just just the coaches and the whole organization from the head up. I mean, they're about a championship, and you can see that they were building it. And I mean, they take great great player great great uh, care of their players, and to have that man, I mean, it makes you want to do anything for that organization. So. To, to, to win the way we did, I mean, it, it's evident. Here's the big challenge, though, for you. Ready? Yes. Where is fire and water? <laughs> it's in Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be able to do this from memory? Give us a general line. Oh, wait a minute. You mean fire and water at 1937 East Diamond Street in Phoenix? If that isn't good enough for you, how about 85006, OK? Hey, listen, it's good to have you back. Oh, thank Come you. back and visit us. O'Brien Schofield, and by the way, if you ever find yourself on some team somewhere and you get cut, remember, there may be a ring in your future. This is Pat McMahon.